Hey guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today we are doing another mandala file. It's been a little while since I've done a mandala file. It's probably been about two months or so and I've just not had the time to be able to do them. And I really enjoy doing these videos. They're really relaxing, they're really satisfying to watch the laser just work. And I just really, really enjoy doing them. The one we're doing today is this one. It is a wine bottle and glass and it's five layers, technically six if you count this tiny little bit. Uh, I'm probably going to give this to a friend as a gift because I don't like wine personally. I'm more of a beer guy, like a lager or a cider. Um, I just I, I can't stand the taste of wine personally. So before we get into the video guys, I'd like to thank Swastik Design Crafts. They sent over this file to me. They sent over quite a few files in the past. And they do really make good files. Uh, their Etsy page will be linked down below for you to check out. They have tons and tons and tons of really great mandala files. I love looking through them and looking at what designs I could do next. I've bought a couple of them myself. And uh, yeah, they, they turn out really, really nicely. So if you do like the mandala files and you want to try some on your laser, have a look at their page because they've got tons and tons of different designs. Also, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing because I'm so, so close to getting to a thousand subscribers now. I think we're fitting away at the time of me recording this video. By the time you might have seen it, we may have already hit it and I've got a special 1,000 subscriber video lined up for that. So let's get there. Let's get those last few in and it'll just be so amazing for me uh, just to hit a thousand because it, it just means so much to me because... It's hard for me to believe that a hundred people would want to watch my content, let alone a thousand. And then my next goal after that is probably two thousand and we're just going to keep growing and growing and growing. And it's just been amazing so far and I'm grateful for every single one of you that's hit subscribe. So if you do like this content, hit subscribe and I'll be putting more content out like this in the future. So that being said, let's get into the video.
to glue these together, I always use Anita's Tacky Glue. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It lasts a long, long time. This bottle I've got has probably made 20 or 30 mandalas, and it's not even halfway through. Um, it has a tiny, tiny nozzle, so you can get that thin line all the way around the edges and in the details, and it just dries really, really quickly. Don't worry about getting a little bit of squeeze out on there. If you put a tiny little bit too much on there, it does dry clear and you can hardly notice, but if you can get in there and clean it up, it's always better to do that anyway. This one was a tiny little bit trickier than other ones to put together. Not as bad as the flower shaped one that I did and painted because every single layer was slightly offset on that one. On this one, the outline does line up so you can just line the outline up and that makes it much more simple. Um, but the bottle and the glass on the last three layers are separate so they don't come together which makes it a little bit more difficult than one where the whole outline lines up on the whole thing but overall it's still pretty simple to put together. So that's it guys what do you think of this mandala design? I absolutely love it I love the grapes in here it just sets it off really nice there's a little leaf that's sticking out on the top I think wine lovers will really, really like this design. It'd be a perfect gift for somebody in your life that does like wine. Or if you like wine yourself, you can just make one of these and stick it on your wall. They will look really, really good painted. I don't have any of the colours that I would paint this ready to go for me to paint it. I do still need to get my airbrush set up and ready to go and mix some paints down in that. I'm still learning how to use that and I didn't want to ruin this without me knowing perfectly how to get that done properly. So if you like this video, please give it a good thumbs up. If you like me doing all these mandalas and laser cut videos, then please consider subscribing because I do videos like this fairly often. Granted, I didn't do a mandala for a little while, but I have been doing laser videos with tips and tricks like that in between. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video, which hopefully will be my 1,000 subscriber special. So I will see you in that one.